Yeah, Steve and Monica, this really is shocking and devastating news. Tonight, Dartmouth's president calling his death tragic for the school and the entire football world. In March, Buddy Tevens was injured during a bicycle crash in Florida. He suffered a spinal cord injury and his leg had to be amputated. For the past six months, Tevens was recovering while Sammy McCorkle took over coaching duties in Hanover. Tonight, the Tevens family says his injuries proved to be too challenging to overcome. Stevens' career was legendary. He was the 1978 Ivy League Player of the Year as quarterback of Dartmouth, and he went on to become the program's winningest coach, leading the Big Green for 22 seasons. And he was known nationally for his focus on protecting players from concussions. Tonight, I talked to former UNH coach Sean McDonald, who faced Stevens many times over the years. You know, really, really, really sad. A uh, guy that... Uh epitomized uh, Dartmouth College, uh, epitomized 1AA football, epitomized a lot about the great state of New Hampshire. And he, he was a, a, a big part of the success of, of all of us in football here in the state. In a statement, the Tevens family says throughout this journey, we consistently relayed the thoughts, memories, and love sent his way. Your kindness and letters of encouragement did not go unnoticed and were greatly appreciated by both Buddy and our family. The college says the team will play on Saturday as Buddy would have wanted, hosting Lehigh and Dartmouth's home opener, 1.30 Saturday afternoon. There will be a moment of silence before the game and a remembrance ceremony afterwards. Buddy Tevens was 66 years old. We will have much more coming up in sports. For now, Mike Cronin, News 9 Sports.